Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio with a larger canvas for lacing and some Amsterdam Black Standard Issue Standard Series and I'm hoping I have enough because it doesn't feel like I have enough so I'm going to try and make an equal amount of paint I'm going to have to order some more of this I, I like how it worked with, with the lacing yesterday I need a somewhat heavy layer, but I don't want it to be so heavy that I need to tip it all away. It'll be right there in case I need it. I'm going to be doing coppers and turquoises today, I hope. I'm looking for things that don't belong, like that. Those are my stainless steel tweezers. You can find them on my Amazon link. I highly recommend having them. I like having them so much I have two to pair. Now, I don't have enough space, so this might take a minute. Maybe I should have done it beforehand. I'm thinking I don't need to be as cautious as I'm being because I'm going to use a, a long metal spatula. Well, that's fortunate. I can... I, I thought I could swivel it all the way around, but I can almost swivel it all the way around. I do want an even layer, so that's why I'm going to continue my attempt. And then I'm going to puddle up my paint colors. And swipe them with Amsterdam Black, same as this and Australian Floetrol. And at some point in time in the future I'm going to try some white too. But right now this is enough. And I feel like I have an adequate layer. I hope I do. I hope I'm right. It seems like it's enough. I hate wasting lots of paint. Alright, I didn't wet my studio rag, so I'm just going to throw this right in the bucket after I scrape off the residual. It's a dark day here, so hopefully I have enough light. You know what? I need more light. And I can have more light. Yay! Alright, so I'm going to use burnished copper. Let's go, yeah. Which dries slightly less white looking. And some Baltic Amber. I'm a color art affiliate, so these colors are color art colors, and these are prism pores. This is Ginger Peach. The Baltic Amber is a prism pour. The Ginger Peach is a primary element. And I have another one. I have Orange Peel with a little bit of gold sparkle in it, I believe. And then, I'm going to be trepidatious. I'm going to use some Sea Monster, which is a primary element. Some Sea Glass. Sea glass is a primary element. Sparkling aqua, which is closed. Sparkling aqua is a prism pour, I believe. Royal sapphire. I'd like to save a little negative space. And I wasn't sure, but I've got some agave blue. I'm going to make sure I shake that up. So my colors are pretty similar. I did have... Yeah, I'm going to do it. Ha! <laughs> oh, I'm nervous about that. That is Fandango, another prison pour. Then, what do I... I need the larger of the two spatulas. Looks like I didn't get all my paint off last time either.
so long as I get a fair amount on there. I want to tip that down toward the edge and the corner also. Kind of felt like I should have put some bronze in there maybe, but I'm also thinking it'll be okay. Depending on how far this goes, I may go in from the other end next. And I'm going to take a moment to put some water on my studio rag in, my, in the dish I carry it in, keep it in, contain it in, so I can wipe things off. That's beautiful. Okay, cool. Let's do it again. <laughs> I might contemplate adding some other blue. I had some frozen out. I've got some cerulean blue. That was the royal sapphire and then the cerulean blue. And I think I'm just going to go for it broke. This is blue velvet. And this is Midnight Shadow, which is, needs a new label. I'm going to also indulge myself in a little nebulous star. I will put the colors underneath the video. Now, do I want something else in there? I think I might indulge myself in a little black iris. Not sure that's right, and um, while we're at it, whoa, that that's the that's the uh, deep amethyst. Kind of think silver. All right, I'm gonna take my paint. It's on there, and scrape it right off, and then wipe it off. A spatula and I probably don't need to do either one of those things. I've got a shorter spatula because I have a smaller puddle of paint and I think that'll work better. To tip some of that right down. I'd like it to stay on the canvas. But I'd also like to bring that right down there. Now I suppose if I had, if I liked what I had enough, I could probably just stop right now I'm going to tip this down so I get weight. Tip it down and pour some of it right off into a dish. Oh, I've got that deep amethyst running, which is actually kind of cool. I've started to put a little bit of distilled water into my paints, so I shouldn't be surprised if things aren't as heavy as they usually, as they used to be. All right, I'm going to turn that around. That's pretty beautiful. I kind of want to keep the black, but I seem to have enough black, and I want that is prison pour black raspberry. And a little bit of Twilight Orchid. And I think I'm going to give it a little bit of Indian Spice. And then I'm going to shake that 
Oof. deep amethyst again. And find a smaller tool. I have a smaller tool. Can I do it with that? I'm going to try. Am I? I don't know. <laughs> what kind of smaller tool do you have, Priscilla? I have a tool with a point on it that I'm going to try and make work. All right, now I have to decide what, if anything, is going to go on over here. So I'm thinking that I need to go up from the bottom. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. There's the Royal Sapphire. Here's the black raspberry. I don't mind that gold up there. Maybe I'll have some more. I didn't ever put any Chantilly lace in, so that could be coming next. I didn't even contemplate that. This is the deep amethyst. And I'm still holding a tool in my hand that I don't need to have there. And I'm probably going to use my shorter spatula. I'm going to go ahead and use some more of the Baltic Amber. This is actually kind of fun. Here is the Chantilly Lace. Quite a bit of it actually. And I, it's either the silver. No, I'm just going to go for this orange peel. I did have an idea earlier that I might want to use a little snapdragon. So it probably won't even show, but I'm going to do that anyway. Grab my smaller spatula that I need to wipe off. I'm going to bring those paints all the way down to the edge. So I'm going to move them so they flow together somewhat. i just move them so that my finger moves them. Oh. All right. Is it big enough? I'll make it big enough. Not an insubstantial amount of cell activator. I'll be very interested to see how that looks. Maybe to blow a few things around. Am I done? I'm not sure. I've got plenty of black. Kind of want more of something in here. Yeah, I'm getting some cells in there. I'm not sure about this yet. That's Indian Spice, and that's Chantilly Lace. Oh, and I dropped some on my canvas.
that, as they say, is 20 minutes. Excuse me, that's 16 minutes. So I actually have a little more time. And I kind of want to do something in here. Even though it's nice to have negative space, I want something in there. And that's going in the bucket. I'm just going to use all my tools. I had a nice little... Oh, it's probably buried. No, that's not good. All right, so what do I want? I really love this combination in here. I kind of want more of it. So I'm going to do that. That was the Royal Sapphire. I think this is the Agave. I'm going to bring the Cerulean back in. And I like how the green looked. Fandango. Do I want anything else? I kind of like the contrast of the sea glass. Okay, now it's time to find a palette knife. Do I have one in the bucket? I'm just going to use one from the bucket. Give me a minute or 20 seconds or so. Get the water off my hands. I kind of want to just tip that down. Come on. You can move. Move, move, move. I don't think I should have scraped that off there. But I just keep doing it. I guess I'm going to drip it off. Well, it's kind of interesting. I like it. I'm inclined to grab one of my little acetate tools. That's some true silver. I'm not sure what made me feel like I was going to be brave enough to do that. I have a tool, I have a video for making these acetate tools. Can't get to that right now. Hang on. Okay, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to do a little bit of tipping. See if anything moves. I should probably, I have my phone, I should probably shimmer that at you. And that's actually pretty, pretty beautiful colors. Not sure it's my best composi composition, but we'll see tomorrow. And I'm going to try and get up there before you're gone. Please give me a thumbs up when you share my videos and leave me a comment. You help me out and I really appreciate that. Yeah, that's nice. If I change my mind and I want to come back in a minute, I'll come back in a minute. I don't think so. There we go. I like that. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I just said that. Okay, under the, underneath the link tree you'll find everything. And uh, and near the link tree you'll find 20% off color art coupon code and 10% uh, off pixel paint designs coupon code. Bye for now. Thank you for everything. Priscilla out. <laughs>